Sense of Illusions is a true masterpiece. Right from the title of the book, when you read Palace of Illusion, you're like spellbound. Then the pers- the character of Panchali as it evolves. And there is, I feel it's also one of your wisest books. There's so much wisdom in it. So I have to ask you, which one is your favorite book, if any? And who's your favorite character? My newest book is the one that I uh-huh. love the most because, you know, it's most immediate. It's like the new baby. baby it's like right? my most... Uh, <laughs> Recent creative energies have gone into it. So I'm very fond of The Last Queen for that reason. But really, I think, and I'll have to choose two, The Palace of Illusions and The Forest of Enchantments together mean something very special to me. And I think you're right in that they touch more hearts because I have received more reader comments on those two books. And of course, Palace has been out for a long time. It's been out for more than 10 years. And um, Forest just came out before um, The Last Queen. But I have received so many and I'm always so humbled and thankful for these Mm -hmm. people who write and say, reading this changed my life, reading this made me see life in a different way. Mm -hmm. And I have to give much of the credit to our epics out of which these stories are taken, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. They are hugely resonant stories. They're timeless, resonant they have lessons in them, you know, beyond <laughs> what people right. can imagine. Right. Every time I reread right. the Ramayana and Mahabharata, I learned something new. And I had to reread them several times as I was writing these books. But they both have, the reason I love like those two books in tandem is that they show two kinds of strength and two kinds of rebellion against fate, if you might right. call it that. Right.